Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present one of America's best-selling authors, and uh, you mention this woman's name and you're in for a very vigorous conversation, especially among her untold, uncounted numbers of followers. Here is philosopher Ayn Rand. Ms. Rand. I can. Um, millions... Exactly. Gosh, uh, millions of Americans uh, really were introduced to Ayn Rand in The Fountainhead, 1943. Atlas Shrugged, 1957. That's it. Still selling worldwide. You are something. Uh, I think so. Well, you know, philosopher, I, you do think so. Yeah, You're but tired I, of all this aw shucks humility. That's phony, you think, huh? That's right. So I'd better get off my kick, huh? Oh, you're not too humble. Uh, no. <laughs> you can see a little... Uh, a little reluctant attempt yeah. th that you make once in a while. But I don't fool you? N not too much, no. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what's your point? That uh, that's a phoniness, uh, isn't it? That uh, enjoy whatever it is that's going on. Huh? Yes, if you've honestly achieved it, and I know I have, and I think you have, then you should be proud of it. It helps other people actually to know that you've achieved something. It was worth it, and you're pleased yeah. with it, rather than crawl around and say, "Poor little me." Yeah. Where did we get into that? Oh, shucks! It was nothing. I just. He had a grand slam home run in the last night to have a job to do. I went up there and I just swung at the ball and I hit the bat. And I, you know, why don't we do that? Why don't we say, I did it because I'm good and I work hard? That's exactly it. Yeah. How do you suppose we got into this phony uh, baloney? Oh, America? Because I think most men here are repressors. They hide their feelings, particularly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, I think most people have had the same experience or made the same observation. Yeah. That men in America seems it's a mark of strength, never to show your feelings. And it becomes a psychological repression, which is a very mm. deadly yeah. psychology. It uh, makes women terribly unhappy. We seem, however, to allow for uh, uh, touching and everything else. I mean, uh, what what more wonderful embracing have we ever seen than the hockey players gave each other when they defeated Russia? Oh, well, that's a great exception. Yeah, but I, it, it, is, and, it is... And it's proper. Why shouldn't it? Well, of course it is. I'm not challenging that. I'm saying, why do we have this, we have this dual set of behavior uh, standards? One is, don't show your feelings if you're hit by a pitch. I remember whenever the ball player would hit, he, when I was a kid, he never went like that. You know, he'd run to first yeah. base and never touch it. And I'd think, oh boy, is he strong. Now I see that as your point, that it's a sort of tyranny that men are not supposed to uh, express. Uh. Yes, and it's sort of weakness. It's not strength. Because the strong man doesn't mind showing his feelings, unhappy ones, or pain, mm -hmm. or enthusiasm, or pride. Mm -hmm. But in the, uh, trying to appear strong, most men lose the, the pleasure of b being boastful. I don't mean boastful. I mean legitimately acknowledge their own uh, achievement and that they take pleasure in it. They take pleasure in, in not acknowledging their own achievement, you're saying? No, they're afraid to admit okay. that, that they enjoy acknowledging their own achievement. So